Hi, my name is Ben from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of one of our brand new trailers. This is a Transcend 235BH by Grand Design 2023. This is a newer floor plan by them. Uh, we'll walk around the outside, cover a couple things, and then we'll get on the inside, show you how we think uh, you can use this one and some of the great features on it. So right up front here, we have power tongue jack, and you know, just up and down simply with that, easy to use. Um, beautiful black and white transcend, they keep it simple with the black and white, but matches a lot of colors that way. Around this side, pass through storage, so in, the, in their class, the entry level class, definitely one of the bigger, wider storage doors. And then you got, uh, you know, a lot of your hookups over here, your city water and your fresh tank fill capabilities over here. Black tank flush as well. And then you can have run your lines right down through here. So you can close this door. The door is held up by a magnet piece. And the outside of this, is the aluminum tin, but they mat it so it's not gonna scratch or dent as much compared to some other brands. Nice big windows, um, you know, right by the bed there, they had to do it more vertical, just with the shape of this floor plan. And then you get a window in the dinette, and then you're gonna have a window at each bunk spot, because this is a bunk bottle. And then on the back end here, we're gonna have our plug-in, black tank and gray tank dump with our valves there crank down jacks easy to use on the back we have prep for a backup camera ladder so you can get up on that roof for maintenance and then we have a spray port over here the reason they put it here is this is where a water line access point is and then you have your black tank flush back here for the bathroom which this is a rear bath on this unit Spare tire included. And then coming around the side there, part of the reason they put the spray port there, again, is because of the water line, where it's located. But also, uh, you have an outdoor kitchen, two burner stove here, so that hose you can bring around to clean off this or other cooking items. 110 plug-in on the inside here. And then you have a fridge, 110 fridge, plug in that, or you could use that outlet for other items here as well. You know, the door definitely stays up high enough for most people. I'm about six feet tall. Outdoor speakers. You're gonna have an outdoor hookup for a TV if you want to put it on a table. Watch TV outside, you could. Awning stays nice and tall on this unit. Gets nice coverage that comes out. Nice, real long. And again, outdoor speakers. Porch light out front as well. Green design is really good for giving you lots of windows. They even give you a window on this side over the kitchen area. And then again, pass through storage on this side. And here, quick connect spray hose that comes with the unit as well. Nice big pass through storage there. So we're gonna step up on inside. Uh, this one as well is 5,800 dry weight. Uh, we will put the weight and length on the video listed. So step up inside. It's a new, different floor plan. Control panel right here, right when you walk in. Radio, inside, outside speakers again. Nice, they put it right there, so then you can control that if you are outside. Down below here, you have some storage, you know, right when you walk in. Spot for shoes, or just different items that maybe you're going in and outside a lot with. So Grand Design, a lot of their floor plans, the things that they focus on are gonna be space, uh, big windows, lots of counter space. This one, huge counter space. So you could definitely do lots of cooking here. Um, you know, sink over there, you got 110 plug-in on that side as well. 110 plug-in here, so you know, coffee maker, crock pots, those types of items. Uh, Heat vents up off the floor, easier to clean that way. But again, this is a big open floor plan with a lot of varieties of use. Um, yes, it's a bunk model, but we have a couch here, dinette here, and then we have our bunk area. Nice, wide bunk, long, 
uh, drawers underneath. So really, is this just a bunkhouse? Not really, it, it could be used for, uh, you could put a clothing rod there. It could be a closet. You have this that closes. You could put couches and pillows here to watch the TV, spot to watch the TV there, and a couch over there as well. So really, this could house a handful of people to watch TV if it's a rainy day. This bunk flips down here. And so when this flips down, you got additional bed, but really this could be a nice uh, two bed camper. And But you have somebody else come with, you have that extra bed option. Um, it could be used for storage for dogs, uh, dog crate, or just a dog bed. So a variety of options. And that's the great thing about this unit here is that it's not just a single use unit like some end up being. Uh, the dinette with the wall here gives a nice separation. This also makes into a bed. And our main bed with the couch here gives you a couch for sitting, but also you can sit here, you can have people sitting at the dinette and easy to socialize and have that talking back and forth. Some units don't give that opportunity. So if it's a rainy day, you're not able to have those discussions, play games, things like that. So this couch here is from their toy hauler, so it flips and rolls to lay flat. There's a latch over here. We bring the bed down. And then you do have a light up above. So nice big bed. There's a little bit of a crease here, but it stays together. It goes up and down very easily. And it is a walk around bed. You have additional hanging storage on both sides. 110 outlet USB here as well. Again, I mean, just very simple to bring that up and down. Latch that back. You don't have to bend or change the bed at all. I mean, just simply easy to bring up and down. Couch goes back. There it is. Um, counter space, again, huge counter space. You got a spray nozzle off the sink. Sink deep, but then the spray nozzle sits up. And then you have deep enough storage up here for plates pots and pans, things like that. Additional storage here as well. So when we talk about pantry storage, you know, people may say, well, where are you gonna put your pantry items? You know, because you have deep storage here um, and you're limited on space, you know, you got pots and pans down here, you have a lot of space for pots and pans. So really this could partially be used for pantry. Uh, 12 volt fridge. Deeper, bigger, it's gonna run more efficiently. And then the bathroom, porcelain toilet for the bathroom. They do give you storage behind the medicine cabinet, storage over here as well. Additionally, because there's an outdoor kitchen, they give space up above here as well. Down below, because there's water lines, you don't get that option. Skylight to make the shower a little taller. So the bathroom, a little bit smaller in this unit, but what you get you get a trailer that's 5,800 pounds with a smaller bathroom, but huge open space here, lots of counter space and a variety of uses on the bed. Um, so quick video for us, gave you some, some ideas, uh, some uses on it. If you have any questions on the use or specs, call me, text me. Um, my number will be posted on this video. Again, Ben from Bullion RV, thank you for spending time with us. Please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.